Like even if I'm just I'm just asking like a hypothetical. You know brim showers. You know one short, right? Just and then your jet has U-Haul, right? So, mm -hmm. assuming once your jet peeks out of U-Haul and takes control here, like in this hypothetical, you can do one of three things: you smoke sour, smoke short, or smoke bomb. Smoking bomb, in my I'm opinion, is sure. the best, right? Because if you smoke bomb, then your teammates can go take fights while somebody is defusing the bomb, and they can't tell whether anybody's actually on the bomb. Hey, I'm OD26, a Radiant coach on Medify, and I stream all my coaching sessions live on Twitch. Feel free to stop by, and with that, enjoy the video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go over the Omen game. So is there anything you're confused about specifically with Omen, or like? Just when to play like aggressive versus passive, I guess. Okay. It's like, I feel like I'm in a weird spot with Omen, where it's like, I don't do enough. Can I ask why you're playing like Omen at play. B first things first? Let me ask that. Oh, because sometimes I like to gamble if they go B, just like to TP across at the start of okay. round. And then okay, just, yeah. okay. So here you're just going for a gamble of the idea that they're going to be. Okay. Do you know yeah. that typically it's better to play Omen at A? Do you understand why? Is it because of faster smokes and like you have your flash that can just literally run down short, stuff like that? Yeah, if they're running down short, your flash is really strong. Uh, the faster smokes doesn't really matter, but you are able to smoke showers off the start. Not only that, but you can fuck around with TPs and like fake TP with your kind of things. Like let's say they're pressuring hookah, like let's say a chamber will typically put a trip here, they're pressuring hookah, and then all of a sudden you fake TP through, right? Obviously it can get you killed sometimes, so you need somebody watching that sort of thing, but yeah, in terms of like the value of utility, it's, it's typically slightly higher. I just missed the trade with that one. Um, so here I'll talk about using your smokes. So you know how Omen smokes recharge, right? Right. Um, so at the start of the round, it's kind of like initiator utility in a way where you kind of want to be taking a smoke and throwing it, whether it's a defaulted smoke or something to take map control of, right? So for here, let's say you're playing long, you're TPing, you can throw a smoke here, right? Because if you throw a smoke here, what does the enemy team have to do if they want to push through this smoke? They have to just like run through a smoke, right? And you can right. really hold it. And if your teammate is taking contact and you have a blind, what can you do? Or you just flash. You can just mm. flash when they run up through the smoke, right? And then you get free yeah. kills. And then we just say stonks and get fucked pussies. And then they type in all chat, oh my god, you're using your blind, you're so cringe, you can only get kills with your blind. Mid sight? Why do you smoke here? Mm. I mean, it's not the worst, but at the same time, right, you're, you're 2v3, and if they want to peek you showers, let them, right? If they okay. want to peek you showers, just take the 1v1, right? Um, right they're not yeah. going to be able to trade but off of each other. For the most part, I'd either save smoke for, like, bomb, for when you tap, or I'd save smoke for a short. I'm not a big fan of solo taking U-Haul because like this is what I mean is like taking U-Haul control really isn't that important because a lot of people don't know how to play this position because they have to peek like super far out, right? To actually like kill you when you're on the bomb so you can tap, create pressure, lock wide, tap. The only issue that you kind of have to worry about is when they kind of do this rat play, but you should typically, if you know someone's U-Haul, you'll know if they're doing this rat play. It's pretty, pretty obvious. So you're holding you all control, I don't mind it, especially like you're in a disadvantageous situation. You take your 1v1, you end up winning, which is really good. You get a weapon upgrade, and now you have a smoke. Um, this smoke doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I guess it's like okay if you're trying to make some sort of play around it. The blind also doesn't really make much sense. A lot of your utility you throw is like this mechanism of like, oh, I just want to delay and like buy myself more time to then go take a like a dry fight. If that Does that make sense? It's yeah. like the way you use your utility. It's like all the time when you're using your utility, it's nothing you can like capitalize off of, right? And I think that's like the biggest weakness in your gameplay. Smoking deep short here is pretty good. Like this is like another example of like, oh, you're preemptively smoking to like fight for control. You should just be watching this like kind of deep smoke, smoke short. And if you are going to smoke like this, I even argue that like maybe something like a judge and just playing up would be pretty good, especially in ranked. Like a lot of people are going to be like, what the fuck do I do about this, right? And then they'll, yeah. they'll blow like dart and they'll blow like dog and, and you'll be good. But yeah. Yeah. Here, beautiful. We take control of the shower space, right? I love this. So this is like actively like we're thinking of like what we're trying to do, and, and then they make contact short, and then you're calming. Hey, let's just hold this, yes, because you can play retake. They have nothing. They if you have showers control, think about this, okay? If you have showers control at A, what are they able to do when they try to take site if they don't have a sage? Are they able to plant the bomb? No. No, right? Because if they plant the bomb, what do you do? You ping and then you spam, right? And they just die. Yeah. Right? So it's like kind of like understanding the strengths of making this. If you're playing this, this like this play, right? Then what is the strength of this play, right? We have blind, but in order to make this play, you have to be with somebody, right? Like you have to have somebody that's like ready to swing off of your blind, whether they're here or they're here, because you can't really make this play by yourself, can you? 
or their top truck, mm -hmm. right? Top truck, like this play is really good. Like if you want to set up a play like, hey, I'm going to blind here. And then if your teammates sit top truck, you guys listen for audio cues. And then off audio cue, you blind and have your jet swing. That's like a pretty good play. And then you'll be delayed swing to trade the jet, right? Um, that's like not a bad play, but you just have to like think about that, right? It's like a more effective play is like, Yes, I can statistically take, in rank specifically, I can take showers by myself He's easier. So. Well. so this is a good question, okay? Somebody asked this. When you're throwing this smoke showers, what's stopping a sky or KO from popping off of you? Typically, you'll want to fight it with a teammate. So typically, you have three people towards A, and like, if, if you're really talking team setting, the best way to kind of play this, and that's why I think is a little bit better, but the best way to play this would be have your smoker kind of sit here, have two people kind of fight showers, but if you're doing it by yourself, it's fine. Um, have two people fight showers. You have one person just dry holding the smoke, right? And the other person playing counter flash. If they flash through, the other person swings, right? Because if this person loses a fight to somebody dry walking through the smoke, this person fucking sucks, right? That's all there is to it. There's no like, there's no like crazy to it, but yeah. So you're dry holding it, what are you doing? You're giving them an opportunity to open up showers by peeking them, right? Yeah. We have this space. We don't need to go any more aggressive. We don't need to just hold, 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 right? We need to understand what the strength of our position is and why that's our strength, right? Um, we have showers control. Because Whoa. What the fuck? That guy's in you haul ulti? Good spacing with the trade. I think both of them left. Going for a read that both of them left. This no, is more of a gamble idea, but I don't mind it because I think it's a pretty good one. Okay. Unlucky. A little that's bit of a whiff here. That's just more... Unlucky. uh. More DMs, more DMs. Idea. Smokes, shall we? Sky, you have flash. Never mind, I'll just drop them. <laughs> I think one the passive aggressive annoyance when I'm you sure don't get a comm that you ask for. Pocket. I can respect that. Yeah. From Shari. Just short. Oof. Not the I worst. I think here you need to recognize that, hey, I have smoke in six seconds. I really need to stay alive here. Right? Um, I need to stay alive because my smoke is going to be really valuable for post plant. Now I'm going to ask you a question. When you were smoking with your last smoke and you were creating pressure towards the bomb, right? You guys are like 5v3 or whatever, right? Or uh, 4v3. Where do you smoke with this last smoke that you have? Tied between either on the bomb or just short. Because I know on the bomb it's like easier for you to get half or just straight up defuse. But then mm -hmm. it's like you don't have control of like the site at all. Because like when you look at this, right? Like even if I'm just I'm just asking like a hypothetical. You know brim showers. You know one short, right? Just and then your jet has U-Haul, right? So, mm -hmm. assuming once your jet peeks out of U-Haul and takes control here, like in this hypothetical, you can do one of three things: you smoke showers, smoke short, or smoke bomb. Smoking bomb, in my I'm opinion, is short. the best, right? Because if you smoke bomb, then your teammates can go take fights while somebody is defusing the bomb, and they can't tell whether anybody's actually on the bomb. Where if they're just short, they're just going to spam through with the bomb no matter what. And maybe they accident not only the bomb planter, sure but somebody is. trying to push them. And your teammates can't fight them back. Nice. So the whole idea is you smoke bomb because you can literally just fight them, right? Like your team can fight them while the person defuses. The person defusing doesn't have to worry about it too much, right? If you're blinding, do it off of audio, nice. right? Like you're blinding off of no cues, right? Like a lot of times when you throw your utility, you're like, yeah, dude, there's no cue, but I'm just gonna throw it and gamble, right? Yeah, I smoked already. Dude, they're not walking up. I was holding that. Yeah, I agree. I, I would've told him to fuck himself and smoke Tuka. I think like that, I mean like, yeah, you kind of do have to like, oh, your teammate asked for something. Sure, let's fucking do it, but he's just wrong, so. This shit needs to just cross over. And here it's like you don't need to hold hookah, right? Because you have two teammates here, like taking contact with hookah. So like your objective here is like what is my job? My job is to support this chat, right? He's fighting for this. I'm going to fight for this with him. I have two teammates holding my hookah. I don't need to worry about hookah, right? Um, you are you are trying to do like everything all at once, right? You're like, oh shit! I think the re correct play is to fall off of long. He thinks the correct play is fight. This is more reactive, right? React. Like we have two people holding this. Do I really need to worry about this? No, right? So the teammate takes contact short, opping, she I takes it. You don't need to smoke short anymore, right? Your teammate like fell off the angle, but then she repositioned on it, right? So it's like you essentially smoked off your opera and now your opera is like worthless, right? So this is what I mean, is like you have to be careful of like understanding what to smoke, right? Sure. If your teammate is opping short, all you have to do is just smoke showers, right? And let your team fight short, right? We'll talk about smoke timing here because I guarantee you're gonna fuck this up in about two seconds. Oh you're a Chad. 
Okay, you would have wanted to throw it as your jet was scaling in, but yeah, you want to throw the smoke like as you're going into hookah. It's and the fact that you had like the idea behind it, you just like didn't do it for some reason. It's not I bad. I tried to do it like perfectly, but yeah, it's better to throw it slightly early than it is to try to throw it perfect. Trying to get perfect value out of something, a lot of times just ends up getting your teammates killed. So you hear one flanking, you just pick up flank, right? Your teammates have this. Like I feel like you have the least amount of trust in your teammates I've ever seen out of anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I hate everyone. No, I'm playing. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no, no. I understand. Yeah. But like, you you literally have teammates watching the angle, and you're like, nah, I don't trust them at all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quadruple hold this this angle. One flank, one flank. Like you don't need that. Like you know, one's flank. Just pick up flank, right? One flank, one flank. Yeah. And you end up dying, and then like your your guys' post plan almost collapses because, because you die, Unlucky and then though. it does collapse because you don't trust your team. Like, like have some faith in them. It's okay. I promise. Right. Watch into your smoke. Try to do the one back seconds. Okay, I am conflicted because I think that this smoke is statistically worse than the other one, and the reason why I think it's statistically worse is because it leaves an opening for backsight for them to peek. Yes, it does cover heaven better, but at the same time, if they just spam you through, it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, and like the gap it leaves for them to see heaven when you just throw it here is so tiny. Right? And if they're gonna sit in that gap, you can just have your crosshair there, right? The smoke deep. But, like, throwing it on top of the truck, I'm pretty sure is just worse. Right? You can smoke on top of this fucking truck like this. Have your jet updraft dash into the smoke. Have Sova dart back sight. And then your, your jet just has free spam kills through back sight, right? Like, everything needs to be done with the idea of, like, understanding why you're doing it. But typically, if you're defaulting smokes and you really don't know what the plan is, you're just taking sight, these two smokes are the ones you go. For the most part, I don't think we're going to learn things anymore from this VOD. So what I actually want to do is go into a custom game and let's uh, talk about some things, okay? So first things first, uh, if you are throwing the smoke, I'm pretty sure throwing it on top of this box is just better. Um, it does leave a one-way for you to even shoot through as well, right? So, and they can't really see you. So, also the reason why is, like, you can do this, right? It's fun. Um, this smoke long if you're playing B long and you like have rifles and shit, you want to get aggressive. This is like a really good smoke, and then you can just hold blind out either left or right side, right? Um, and then your teammate takes contact over here. Um, another play you can do is have your teammate right here, and then you standing right here, right? And then you can just yeah. like blind them, right? So, and the best thing to do is like this, and then run while you throw it so it goes faster, right? Because in case yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people forget that you know, change of blind, like change of blind speed changes, like. Hand yeah. moving, so hitting them faster does help. So always I running mean, while you throw the blind will help you. Um, another play you can do if you have a shotgun, listen for audio. If you hear no audio, 10 seconds, you can just smoke right here. And then you know how hard it is to clear this shit? Like, um, and then if like they throw a raised Roomba, and you break the Roomba and then throw the smoke, it's even worse for them, right? Because now they really have nothing, right? This is another version of the smoke. Um, this you want to be holding with rifles. Like I said, one person plays left side, the other person plays right. Um, this person's playing counter flash while this person's hard holding, right? Uh, this person hard holds like this, and then all of a sudden, the second the smoke goes away, you just kind of play this angle, right? Um, if you want to get out and you're playing Omen, you can just go this, right? Um, if yep. you want to get out. Um, otherwise, this, and then like when you have a smoke back up, you can do that. Um, from here, the only issue with this is if you are the one playing deep showers, you cannot smoke anywhere. Um, that's the only issue. So typically, you even playing, you being the one playing counter flash is better, right? Because then you can smoke if you need to. Right. Remember when you are trying to smoke um, this and you guys are executing, uh, smoke this as your team is going into hookah. Try not to get that like perfect value on it, right? So you don't need that perfect value. Throw your smokes and like off of like contact and stuff. The thing you should be looking for, I guess, quote unquote, perfect value is like you're blind, but you don't even want to look for perfect value. Just look for value, right? It's like when you're just throwing it dry with no contact, it's like you're just kind of fucking yourself over. Does that make sense? Right? Yeah. After watching this video, if you're interested in getting a coaching session by me, just click the top link in my bio and then click buy a session. Thanks. Anyways, have a good day. <laughs>